I am not a big wiring guy at all, but just looking at some of this stuff, like I got the back wiring in there. What's up, guys? Back to the channel. Welcome back. Um, just want to update you guys on what's going on, how much stress I've been under, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I have a little small clip that I'm gonna post down in here. Showing you the beginning of this, the day that I recorded this. This is for wiring, and show you the clip right now. All right, so I've been here for the last few minutes setting up the garage, cleaning off the table a little bit. Got these boxes off top of the car. Still got to tackle that before we can go ahead and get started. I pulled that fender off because I want to. Make sure everything's aligned and adjust on this fender. So my goal is today is to get them the things that I said I was going to do the last video. Plus do the wiring. So the wiring I'm going to do on camera, everything else off camera. Um, this is going to probably be maybe a four-part episode. Not really sure. Not really sure how I'm going to do this. But for documentary and all that good stuff for myself. Um, I... Be honest with y'all, I'm not a professional, never was doing this, didn't pay too much attention to wiring when I was in uh, Lincoln Tech, it was like the least favorite thing I cared for to do, as you can see now, pay attention. <laughs> so all I know is negative is to negative, positive is to positive, and ground is ground. Let me get started, I'm going to clean off this table. Put this thing on the charger. Hopefully I got a good charge by then. And we'll go from there. Because right now it's trying to say it's at 8%. 8%. And that's crazy. Since I left this thing on the charger all the light, all night last night. Alright guys. So. Sorry guys. So we here with the wiring. Um, first, first thing first. I got to sort through. And look at this um, panel real quick. To see where everything's at. I got the paperwork right here. Um, brought some tools. I have my solder. And I have another solder over there. Some of that. Some more ground wire. And pretty much this thing's just gonna put this, get this car up and running. Because the goal is. To at least try to get this interior done or at least get the interior put back together by the beginning of the year so that's what I'm trying that's what I'm pushing for it should be quite simple so all right guys let's see what we got going on here I know no I believe this goes out side of the car that or well, he's got one going to the back so yeah this is going out to outside the car like so okay now I just gotta see where everything else goes to and um I'll cut you guys back on once I figure that out alright guys so I'm back I'm doing this off my phone because my GoPro is over there charging. So we're going to do this from the phone. So, for what I can understand, this is the wiring diagram that I have. from I got from Ed. And I know Ed started doing some of this wiring diagram. So it should be pretty much straightforward. You know, soldering and whatnot. This is basically talking about the fuse panel. Right? So... That's the rear, rear power and brake assembly. So that's the wiring for that, which is cool. Instrument cluster. So all this right here is cool. And I know he started out doing some of this, which is going to be easy for me. Figure out what I'm going to put this uh, fuse box at. So since I got this, I'm going to bring this paper into the car with me and we're going to go start from there. I got set up, set up lighting and all that in there because it's going to probably be dark. 
But I've been looking at this for like 45 minutes because I want to make sure know what I'm looking at. Okay, okay. So I think I just figured out this wiring. I got one for the left turn signal for the Nissan. And the other wiring harness right here is for the right, right turn signal. I pretty much got it all figured out. So looks like a lot of wiring everywhere right now, but for the most part, I got wiring going to the front. That's the fuse box right there. And I believe like this is going to be like ready on stereo. And this is my turn signal wiring left and right. And AC is right here, I believe. So this right here is a little bit more difficult for me than what I thought it would be. So I'm going to take this home and really look at this. So I'm going to continue with this tomorrow. All right. So since you guys seen that clip, that's what happened in the first beginning of wiring. Well, now since then, um, to really update you, I had to do study. It took me about like a week or two. Because I told y'all I'm going to get back with y'all like maybe like the next two weeks or something like that. And it, well, next day. And it just didn't pan out as you guys can see, which I'll show you just a minute. So, still trying to figure out a lot of this wiring. And for what I understand, so this wiring diagram basically tells you everything about the Nissan 240. You can look it up online. I mean, I had to chase down wiring. With this wire goes to this fuse right here, color coded and just trace it out to the lights. For I was trying to find low beam, high beam, turn signal, and it just so it got mind boggling for me. And I was getting real stressed out about this because this wiring right here is easy, right? But the wiring for the Nissan diagram was hard as hell. There is no YouTube videos on it. Everybody, I'm everybody that has wiring videos or whatever, they pretty much um they write everything out and expect for everybody to realize. And they don't, you know, they didn't keep it simple. So I know ground and pot, ground and positive and all that stuff, but all these other wires running, I'm just, I was just completely confused until I found a channel that helped me out. And I will put your name on the bottom of the description and his channel. Go check him out. Anybody that needs help with Nissan wiring, if you're doing what I'm doing or if you're just trying to cut out wiring, because he pretty much helped me out. Um, I'm going to put his link into the channel in the bio of this video. So please go check him out. I appreciate it, man. I really, really appreciate it. Because that's the only way I got this wiring and what for turn signals and whatnot. So, yeah, guys. Um, Let me show you the wiring that he showed me and how I got everything labeled out. So, this right here is the wiring. I won't say using, but I have no... I'll probably be using it later. But right now, I'm keeping all this wiring. I just seen some wires on here that I possibly might need. But this wire right here is the wire I will be using even down to this turn signal switch. Because I started to get like a little... I'm still debating. But if it gets too hectic for me, guys, I'm going to let you know now that I have a plan B. So if this don't pan out, don't work out, or gets too stressed out, I have a plan B. And I will delete... The turn signal switches and that whole hazard light <coughs> and put it on a instrument panel for the middle of the um, gauge. I really did want to do that to tell you the truth because I had, I really did want to do that because I had other plans basically of um, for that whole little big old spot in the middle of your, um, of your center console. So, I was going to put, like, um, a double dent there for, like, music and wise and all that. But if I got to get a single dent, I get a single dent, it's not going to hurt me. I could put that right there where the um, AC climate goes at. Because I'm not running AC in this car or anything. I mean, I'm going to save all components. I'm just not going to run it. So. so, on that note, I ordered that. I ordered a push start, guys. I didn't order a cutoff switch or a another safety 
safety switch for the car. I had to order that. And I uh, ordered um, a couple of fuse relays because I basically want to have a fuse panel. And the reason why I want a fuse panel because I want to run my fans off the fuse panel. I want to run my fuel pump off the fuse panel. Um, I was going to run turn signals and hazard lights off of the fuse panel. And a little, I mean, and accessories. That's why I was going to run off that fuse panel. So, yeah, I'll let you know when this, get, when this comes in. It's supposed to come in any time from now to the 10th. So, when it comes in, I'm definitely going to add it to this wiring. So, that's my plan, too. So, if that don't pan out right there, that wiring right there don't pan out, and I decide to scrap that whole idea, I have a fuse panel for me to work with. Um, keeping forward. As far as wiring, I'm going to go ahead, not this video, but in the next, solder up some wires. And I'll probably pull out this whole wiring for real and solder it, solder it out, put it on this table, and solder it out from top to bottom. And um, then stick it back in the car. The bad thing about it is I don't have a battery to test to see if this wiring is good or not. So maybe I'll come up with that. I just want Actually, I can't even test it. All I can do is just solder it and just put it in for right now and hope and pray. But well, if it comes down to wiring again, I'll deal with it. And um, that's what I plan to do as far as for wiring for this car. Just try to keep it simple. And I realize now what Edward's doing. I didn't realize it before. Because I'm not a wiring guy. But this wiring is very, very simple. And after looking at it, that was better. Um, but let me stop rambling on. I'm sorry if this is like a talking video. I'm just trying to update you guys on a video. I'm trying to get a video out there and let you know what I've been doing and what's happening. So, on that note, guys, you guys take care. Happy New Year's Eve, and I'll see you in the next video beginning for the new year to let you know. Let's get this wiring done. So, stay tuned for part two where I actually do some work in this car. Peace, guys. Y'all know me, cause all I do is ride around with the shoe. Y'all know me, cause all I do is ride around with the shoe. Y'all know me, cause all I do, y'all know me, cause all I do, y'all know me, y'all know me, y'all know me, y'all know me.